Now, please welcome Tim Platt. Very nice. Second. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, I guess loss of life is funny to you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was asked to be on this panel uh, a few hours ago. <laughs> and I gotta be honest, you know, I, 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 just, I came here with the best of intentions. I came here with the best of intentions. You know, I, I wanted to go positive. I really came here wanting to spend my time praising bears and letting the sharks speak for themselves. I came here with the best of intentions. <laughs> wanted to spend my time praising bears and not tearing apart my opponents. When I heard what you all said today, <laughs> and then when I look at all the beach news that happens, I don't think my opponents have stopped tearing me apart. <laughs> what sharks have done to my people, which for those asking are vacationers who shrug off lifeguard warnings, <laughs> I can't let that slide. So yeah, you know, actually tonight I'm gonna go low. <laughs> I can't believe I said those words, but tonight I'm gonna go low. Sharks are what happens when fish make sharks are what happens when fish make <laughs> sharks are what happens when fish make working at the Halloween store their personality. <laughs> worth sharks, it. Worth thank, the wait. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much. You know, I went to speech therapy for many years, and the thing I've learned now is about breath. When you stutter, it's actually because you haven't taken a big enough breath. Huh? That's what I'd share with you. Huh. Is that too vulnerable? Too bear-like? Well. <laughs> yeah, what would the sharks share with you? Some more of their teeth? <laughs> they lose many teeth, you see. Sharks are what happen when eels become bodybuilders. All ego, no function. <laughs> Though hot. <laughs> sharks are hot, I mean, come on. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the first shark, and this is from the Bible, the first shark, and this is from the Bible, the first shark was a surfboard that gained sentience. <laughs> and when it learned the function for which it was made, supporting bare feet, it dedicated the rest of its life to punishing its creators. That's the joke I wrote. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I appreciate the support. <laughs> y'all hear about this. Y'all hear about this. Y'all hear. No, seriously, you hear about this. Y'all hear how sharks have to stay in constant motion, and if they stop, they die. You know, I didn't actually need that specific uh, metaphor for modern life in my brain. Yeah. I learned about sharks, didn't think they'd be a salient metaphor for what I do every day. Yeah, not a fan of that. I don't like to think about myself, and thus I don't like to think about sharks. I wrote that on the train up here. <laughs> I'm a modern man in the entertainment industry, so I love PR. Sharks suck at PR, and that pisses me off. Ding, ding. You love me. <laughs> they, the sharks did Jaws, and they let that shit stink for the rest of their career. They didn't make a single thing that could alter, they alter the narrative that Jaws created. And that pisses me off, because I love PR. Bears, on the other hand, well, you know, we have countless examples of bear heroes every day. And this is before I Googled. This is before I Googled. This is off the top of the head. We got Pooh Bear. We got Fozzie. We got Baloo. We got those magnificent Coca-Cola families. <laughs> you know those charming little creatures on Christmas Eve that come around drinking Coke and loving their family? Yeah, they're my friends. We have Stuart Little, whom I consider a bear. We have Paddington, who I consider Stuart Little. <laughs> we have the famous fable of the three bears. Now those three bears whom I, consider, whom I consider heroes of restraint, when you remember, they let that thief live. Yeah. <laughs> Would sharks do the same? Be honest with yourself. If a, if a young blonde girl came into the shark's cave, I'm assuming, <laughs> I'm not remembering that actually bears literally live in caves. <laughs> but in the story, it's a house. But in the story, it's a house. I respect the storytellers. I respect the storytellers. I don't think the sharks would be as merciful as those amazing bears. We got Yogi. We got Little Bear. 
We got Kung Fu Panda. And I know Kung Fu Panda is just the name of the movie and not the character, but if you can believe it, I am just old enough that I don't give a fuck about Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> the only prominent bears that can match Jaws in ferocity are the Berenstein Bears. <laughs> what kind of evangelical sex cult are these fuckers? <laughs> Their names by birth or by choice, we don't know our mama, papa, sister, and brother. Is this a family or a warning? <laughs> a warning of what is to come should we embrace family values. <laughs> and you might be asking, Tim, why are you spending this amount of time railing, eviscerating on your own side? I think I can eviscerate the Berenstein Bears and it's not gonna move the needle on how much you love these cuddly little guys. Now, did I write any more jokes about this? I did not. But when I think of what I've seen here so far, disgusting, if I might say, I have to be a little, uh, I have to say, I have to speak my piece. I'm so tired of letting conservatives control the agenda. I'm so, t one more minute, please. I am so tired of having to negotiate, oh, if the bears didn't kill them, does that mean they like that? Can't we just have simple speech? <laughs> Can't we just speak simply about the things we care about? Do we have to play these mind games? Do we really have to resort to that level? <sighs> well, you can hear, you can, you can, you can judge for your, you can all judge for, is this judged? Is this a judged event? <laughs> then y'all can judge for yourself. <laughs> Thank you so much. Tim Platt! <laughs>